Hello everybody, just want to take this opportunity to to show what a brand new Browning Light 12 looks like. Just acquired this gun. It is a 28 inch modified Light 12 made in Belgium 1971. I got this gun new in the box and this is the box that came in right here. Um, as it says on the label it came with a rust preservative on it. The rust preservative had been partially wiped off or was by someone else so what I went ahead and did is cleaned it all off and, and put some browning gun oil on there to protect the, the finish. But just wanted to, before anything happened to the gun, before it got nicked up or anything, I wanted to take a few pictures and share those with with YouTube. So this is um, what the stock looks like, walnut uh, stock as it was prepared at the FN factory in Belgium. Just going to take a quick shot of the butt plate. This is the the FN marked. Uh, FN stands for Fabrique Nationale, the um, gun maker in Belgium that was contracted by John Browning to make these guns. The production moved from Belgium in the uh, 19, mid 1970s to Japan. So, um, so these Belgian guns are quite uh, highly sought after. Um, so here's a shot of the forearm, the walnut forearm. And just a little bit about the end cap. Yeah, let's see if we can see the markings. I'm not sure if you can see those, but uh, this is again the 28 inch modified vent rib barrel. So very nice, very nice gun and uh, really in mint condition, unfired condition. Um, these guns were highly sought after in the mid 70s because when Browning changed the production from Belgium to Japan I was working in a sporting goods store and all of a sudden there was a flurry of customers wanting the Belgian makes and uh, so we sold out of those naturally. These guns were quite expensive. I'm going to flip it over so you can see the other side. The guns were quite expensive back then. They were expensive to make and inflation was high in the 70s. So they were uh, pretty pricey and um, moving the production to Japan uh, caused it to be a little cheaper. But I think also it reduced the demand for uh, for the gun because people preferred the Belgian, uh, the Bel Belgian manufacturer. So reduce the demand and then they went out of production uh, a little bit later on the 90s. So here's the walnut stock from on the right side and you can see some of the some of the engraving. A little bit more about the uh, about the, the block and where it meets up with the barrel. This is a um, full recoil system so the barrel and the the barrel moves whenever the shells eject. So again, um, just a very nice new in the box Browning Light 12. Feel fortunate to get it, and uh, I guess these are still available somewhat, but um, I think they're starting to be more rare. People are getting them, and then the collectors uh, are not really releasing them that quickly. These are um, compared to a, a gun like this with nice uh, engraving made out of quality materials these are um, relatively expensive to buy today but I was in a gun store the other day and, and um, looking at guns with nice wood and um, a nice uh, construction you know they are uh, comparable so these are still a, gu a good gun to acquire today and uh, in, a, in a used shooter version with some dings and you know a little you know wear on them they're, I think they're pretty reasonable so again, uh, just wanted to give everyone an opportunity to see this new in the box, Light 12. Thanks everybody.